Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another drive with me video. As you can see, we are in the car. So today we are gonna be quizzing Tim on some British slang. So as you know, Tim is Aussie. So it's gonna be interesting to see if he knows some British slang. Uh, and personally, I've done the quiz myself and I did not know all of the answers either. And so then, that's interesting. Surprise. We're going to be testing Jen on some Aussie slang. <laughs> <laughs> Which is no way I'm going to know. I've only lived there for two years, so we'll give well, that Well, I've only been here for eight, 18 months, probably a year and a half, I think I've been here now. Yeah. So, so let's see. This will be I, interesting to see if we know each other's country slang. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below. It supports my channel. And yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Question number one. So, let's get up the quiz. I'm ready. Okay, this is on the Scotsman, by the way, so if you want to quiz anybody at home, even if you are Scottish or you are British, do try this quiz, because honestly, I tried it and it wasn't super easy for me. Um, but yeah, so, can you decipher these 21 Scots words? Number one, so there's 21, mm -hmm. okay? First word. I'll try and pronounce them properly and try and do the accent properly. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, dreek. The options are unfair, wet and grey weather, or angry. God, he's watching this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Luna. Get him, Luna, get him. Um, wet and grey weather? You're going for wet and grey weather? Yeah. It's Dreak. A bit, it's a bit wet dreak, and grey weather. Bit dreak outside. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Number two. Blether. The options are to chat away, idiot, or rainy weather. Blether. Blether. Uh, to, to chat away, like to just blether on with nonsense. You think that's what yeah. leather means? Yeah. I, so the first option, to chat what, away. Yeah, to chat away, just, yeah. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Two so far, doing good. Okay, next <laughs> word. Come on. Bra. Oh, God. Brilliant, large or cold? Oh, that's bra. <laughs> Not that that would really help, it could be any of them, but I don't want to give it away too much. Oh, that's large. No, it's not large. What were the three? Brilliant, large, or cold? I'm gonna say brilliant, but I've, I've never heard that saying before, obviously, so... You don't say that in Australia? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, we say brah. Brah, brah. Bra. Okay, so you're going for brilliant. Um... Final answer, I'm gonna yeah, have to push brilliant. you on this, Timothy. Brilliant. Oh, look, at that, look at that car, it's bra. Whoa, the lighting. Okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, number four, we're doing very well so far. Scran, scran. Oh, these aren't even words. <laughs> oh, they are, we use them. People use these words. They aren't words. Option A, sand. Option B, young sheep. Option C, food. I have Arpy. to go with sand. <laughs> don't know. No. <laughs> what is it? Sand! What? I know. Why would you be talking about sand? Okay, scran is food. We say that for food. Oh, I really want some scran. Why? Give me some scran. Why don't you just say I want some food? I don't think there's any actual, <laughs> like, meaning behind this. I think it's just random Scottish slang. But, so, you got one wrong so far, but we're doing okay. We're on number five, everybody. Chore. Tasks to get done, stealing something, or a boring person? <laughs> it's tasks to get done, but I think that's kind of a- Wrong! Word. What? Stealing something. That's a trick question. And I'm not gonna lie, I got that wrong too, because we do say chore as in like something you've got to do, like, oh, yeah. you've got to do the washing, what chore? That's a worldwide. Thing. Not stealing something, so I didn't even know that. So there you go. Learn something new every day. Chore so in Scottish stop, slang is stealing something. Stop doing your chores at home. Yeah, number six. Bucket. Option A, a bucket. <laughs> Option B, a glass. 
Option C, a bin. Bucket. Uh, bin. Bin, because I remember because um, when I when I first came, you you and your mum were saying, um, are you going to take the buckets out? And I had no idea what you were on about. <laughs> it's bucket day tomorrow. bucket day tomorrow? What is this day? What is happening tomorrow? <laughs> so you're going for a bin? Yeah, a bin. Correct. Yes. But that is a strange one though. I do it think is that is quite strange. Yeah. Okay, this one's funny. Reeking. <laughs> if you need me to spell it, that, I don't know if that'll help, but reeking. Very drunk or going on a hike or raining heavily. Well, it's not going on a hike. Okay, we're narrowing it down. <laughs> not, it's not going on it's a hike. It's what they do on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire when they have I'll, no idea. I would have to say reeking drunk. You're reeking drunk because you reek of alcohol, maybe. Correct. Yes. Very drunk. <laughs> this one's funny. Okay, number eight. Bam pot. B A M pot. Bam pot. A person who is quite wild. A pan or a kettle? I think maybe a kettle. Because, you, you, why would you call anyone that's wild a bam pot? Wouldn't you just call them wild? Okay, so you're going for a kettle? Yeah, and then a pot, a normal pot, why would you call a normal pot a bam pot when you could just call it a pot? <laughs> so... Logic, would you? <laughs> so I'm locking in kettle. You're locking in kettle? Yeah. Wrong. What? Bam pot is a person who is quite wild. No. And I'm doing, I did know that. I remember people used to say that at school, like, oh, they're a bam pot. <laughs> oh, I hear that bam pot, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I attempt a really Scottish accent. Not sure if that's just really offensive. Number nine, rank. A, cold and wet. B, being the best. C, disgusting or vile. Oh, that could be all of them, really. Being the best, you could rank, like you could rank up higher than everyone else. You're just talking champion speak right now. <laughs> rank You're up playing higher into than your game. Else. Um, disgusting is obviously what I would so, so I'm just gonna go rank. I mean, I'm just gonna go <laughs> disgusting, <laughs> disgusting and vile, meaning rank. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Well done. Okay, we're doing well so far. Next one. This is actually quite a common one. Not sure if you'll know it though. Not sure if you would have heard anyone say it. If anyone said it, it's probably my mum. Okay. <laughs> Peely Wally. Peely Wally. I have heard that before. I don't know what. Hey, so. unwell or ill. B, a bus. C, happy or delighted. Peely oh, I, have, I have to go unwell or ill. I don't think it sounds like a happy saying. Correct. Yes. Unwell or ill. So yeah, somebody is a bit peely wally, like you know, they're not looking so well. They're looking a bit ill, they're a bit yeah. discoloured, they're a bit okay, pale. pale yes. Peely wally. Okay. Ooh, how do you know? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this one, but I think it's clipe. C-L-I-P-E, clipe. Yeah. Someone who is annoying, someone who is a telltale, someone who is clumsy. What do you think Clype is? Clumsy. Someone who is clumsy, so you think I'm Clype? You're definitely Clype. I'm very, very Clype. <laughs> I don't think I'm saying it right. Probably the more I'm saying it, the more weird it sounds. Clype. Um, Clype. You think someone who is clumsy? Clype. Yeah. Wrong. Someone who is a telltale. So like... Oh. You'd normally say that about like your sibling or something when you're younger, be like, oh, you're such a clipe. Or at school, if someone tells on you, like, they'll be like to teacher, oh, mate is a clipe. <laughs> Guddle, with a G on, at the start. Guddle. A mess or a confusing or complex situation. A very large puddle or going paddling in the sea. What was the first one again? A mess, a mess. or a confusing yeah, or a complex situation. Yeah. So you think Guddle is a mess or a confusing or complex situation? Yeah. Correct. Yes. You know with multiple choice, when they give a lot of lot of depth into one of the answers, surely it's that one, because why have they got in so no, much depth? No, I just didn't think it would be a puddle, because it sounds oh, too alike. I need to and shake off my arm. Carry on. I didn't think it would be a puddle, because it sounds too alike. And yeah, I don't going know through a little, I think it's just because Guddle Going puddle. through a little swim in the sea, I don't think is quite common no. here. Oh, it is. <laughs> But it's just called a paddle. 
You just go paddling? <laughs> paddle. <laughs> oh, I need a coffee break. A doggy paddle. <laughs> you don't need to do the noise. I'll do that in the editor. Thank Saving you. time editing. <laughs> Carnaptuous. Captivated and engaged, disappointed, or ill tempered or grumpy? Ill tempered and grumpy. Correct. Yes. Mock it. Incredibly dirty, very clean, or slightly dusty. Mock it. I'd say incredibly dirty. It sounds. Correct. Yeah, it sounds very. Um... Stir. Mud, dust, or slush. Stir. Stir. I'm gonna go dust. Correct. Yes. Ween. A child, an adult, or a teenager. Ween. Child. A child. Correct. Because they're weenie. Yeah. They're little. Or we call them bairn too. That's like a baby. Or a little kid. Dunderheat. A person with questionable intelligence. <laughs> A person, per, person, a person with long hair, or a person who struggles to get up in the morning. Dunderheat. I would go questionable intelligence because they're, they're a bit dumb indeed. Yeah, <laughs> correct. A bow hair. A bow hair. I'll put it up on the screen because I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> a goat. A gust of wind. A very small unit of measurement. A goat. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yeah. Goat. <laughs> Wrong. Yeah. A very small unit of measurement. Yeah, they, they're all, they're, they give me too much Hopefully you should know this one. Because my grandparents would say this. Oh no. Messages. Letters or emails. Doing errands or shopping. Or gossiping. Messages. Oh uh, is it? Did you say errands or shopping? Uh huh. Um, I would say that one because sometimes they say they've got to run their messages or something. And yeah, errands. Correct. Yes. Yeah, we say in Scotland, you say, oh, I've got to run some errands. And that's normally like, you got to pop to the shop or you got to go to the post office. Yeah, you or... Messages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You oh, sorry. You got... <laughs> You're, you've got them flipped up. Normally so, yeah. in Scotland we say you got to do some, me you got to run some messages, or you got to do some messages or whatever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that means like run to the shop, get some bits and bobs, or go to the post office. You know, yeah. go to the local shop, or those kind of things. Running your errands. Brew. I don't know if that. No, maybe it's bro. Bro is two O's. The job centre. The cafe, the butchers. I've never heard this, not gonna lie. The cafe? Is they brew Wrong. coffee? Oh. <laughs> the job centre. Okay, final question to see if Tim is really transforming into a Scottish person. This is a serious <laughs> quiz. This enables him to be able to get Scottish citizenship. citizenship. If you can answer 21 out of 21, you can become a Scottish person. Well, I failed miserably, <laughs> but anyway. But yeah, there's, just, there's a pass mark. If is there? 15 and above, you can be classed as 20% Scottish. Oh, God. Okay. okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, final question. Let's see, if Timothy gets this right, then we'll tell you his overall score. Then it's time for me to embarrass myself. Fisty. A, a strong coastal wind. B, a football fan. Or C, mouldy. <laughs> I'm gonna go a football fan, because it's like, fist, football fan. So you're a fisty. Is that right? Final answer? Yeah, that's final. A football fan. Yeah. Wrong. It's oh, mouldy. We no, say it's not. it is. Oh, that's a bit fisty. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, we do. Like, oh, better chuck that in the bucket. That's a oh, bit fisty. I'm gonna do my research after this and double check. Okay, I'm answers. sorry, Timothy, but I'm sorry what to I say that the the pass mark was 15 out of 21 in my rule book. Um, and that means that you're allowed to class yourself as part Scottish, but unfortunately you just got under that cut and you got 14 <laughs> out of 21. Oh. But in 
embarrassingly enough, I only got one more right than you, and I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to be the Scottish one here. So that says it all, really. All right, well, when we get to our destination, our shop, um, I will get on my phone and I'll ask you your questions to see if you can cut it. For you guys, it'll be in like a second that we start doing <laughs> my quiz. But yeah, hopefully I can rank up high and can class myself as part Aussie. But yeah, we will see. Catch you then. Okay, time for my questions. Timothy is going to be quiz master and I'm going to answer some Aussie slang. <laughs> Go, hit me. Question one, what does hard yakka refer to? Hard work, hard helmet, hard day, or hard life? Hard work? Correct. Really? Yeah. That was tough. I wasn't sure if it was hard work or hard day. What time of the day is it? At Sparrow's Fart. <laughs> <laughs> Sparrow's Fart? <laughs> Sparrow's Fart. <laughs> Why are all these so weird? <laughs> very late at night, midday, very early in the morning, or in the afternoon? <laughs> very early in the morning? <laughs> Correct, I think. <laughs> I think that was a pure guess, really. <laughs> what are mates' rates? <laughs> What's the options? A, a special discounted price for close friends and family, a rating scale of who you like most out of your <laughs> friends or family, how much money you often spend when with particular friends or family, or how much time you spend with friends or family. The first one, like discounts for friends and family. I don't even know oh, why we, I we, kept we, reading on I when I know you know that. Yeah, we, do, we say that too, mates rates. Do you though? Because yeah. I've said that to people when I was serving them in the shop and they didn't really think it was funny. I because don't think they were they probably just like, we're not about. mates. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to be knackered? I feel like I say all the stuff in this hungry, tired, angry, or excited. Tired. Knackered, tired. Yeah. All right. In Australia, what is McDonald's? Informally known as oh, yeah. Mickey D's, God. Macca's, Macadax, or Old Max. Wait, what? Say them again. I thought it was something else. Mickey D's, Macca's. Oh yeah, yeah. Macadax or Old Max. Macca's. Yeah. McDonald's is called Macca's in Australia. We call it Mickey D's as well. There's though. more funny things in Australia. You call a uh, like petrol station a servo. You call <laughs> you have a separate shop just for alcohol. Which says something. Bottolo. And call it a bottolo. What's other ones? Do you have other weird names for stuff? We don't even have a separate shop for alcohol. Well, we do. We have like individual alcohol shops, but generally we just buy alcohol from the supermarket. She knows getting bored. But yeah, bottolo. Bottle. Okay, yeah. So anyway, did I get that right? Oh, uh, you did. I'm yep. pretty sure. What does it mean to have a crack? This is the one I got wrong because I didn't read all the questions. Classic you. Start a fight. Visit the chiropractor, try to attempt something, or get a paper cut. Try to attempt something. Yeah. That's the one, because I just said, like, start a fight when that's normally Is like... Is that an Aussie slack? Have a go. I thought we said that too. Have a crack? Yeah. Go on, have a crack. Oh, I'll give that a crack. Oh, I'll um, give that a crack, Skibby. Yeah, see, this is easy compared to the, what I had to deal with. <laughs> um, well, you should have found a better quiz. What is a sanger? Someone who used to sing? A toolbox, a shower, or a sandwich? Sandwich. <laughs> I only know that because I think in Subway you call them that. In Australia. No, no we don't. Well, a what, where do you call it that? I've seen that before in a... I don't know, I've seen that before. Some shop in Australia. Yeah. This next one's good. To be a stubby short of a six pack <laughs> is to be someone who, who does silly things, someone who is missing a drink <laughs> someone who is a bit crazy or someone who does who has only had five children <laughs> what <laughs> someone who does silly Don't people things say this? is it someone who's a bit crazy yeah. because like we say something like that not the sharpest tool 
<laughs> no, some, something along those lines though, we say something like that, I think. It'd be funny, like in that sentence there, ah oh, yeah, hi darling, in that sentence there you said so many Aussie slang, because you said stubby, which for a lot of people that are watching won't have a clue what stubby is, I'll put up on screen what stubby is, we wouldn't need them here because it's not hot. Yeah, it but to keep the drink cold, right? It keeps the drink cold and it keeps your hand not freezing cold as well. Okay, what was the late Steve Irwin's famous catchphrase? Far out. <laughs> you said that all the time. What, what a beaut. <laughs> Crikey or cool. <laughs> I know what it is, but what is it? Tim, you always say the first one. What was the first far one? Far out. You always go far out. <laughs> I don't. You used to. I don't sound like that, do I? Yeah, but you used to say far out, and I'd be like, what's far out? <laughs> what is it? What? The answer to that's crikey, isn't it? Yeah. Crikey, the crocodiles. Uh, oh. I like this one. This this is nice. Um, what does she'll be apples mean? Everything will be all right. The girl has gone crazy. <laughs> Silly idea or a cool new nickname? Is it the first one? Everything will be all right. Yeah, it's it's like, like kind of right? it's yeah, it's kind of like um. But why apples? I don't know. It's like gravy. Like it's all gravy. I think it'll be all right. You're That's right. That's what there. she thinks about this <laughs> slang quiz. <laughs> Boys, time to do Spanish ones. Chucky. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? How did like, I do? You got ten out of ten. <laughs> Officially Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're with me, isn't it, for a visa? Yeah. Okay, let's end the video. <laughs> <laughs> so I got better than you? Yeah, but that's only because I didn't read all the question of the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm more Aussie than you and you're nearly more Scottish than me. So there you go. There's the conclusion, guys. Try it out if you have an international partner or that friend. It's good fun. All that we have learnt today is we spend too much time together. <laughs> I speak like Tim and Tim now speaks like me. So I'm going to go get my stubby from the servo. And uh, you're going to go get your... I'm going to go be dumb and dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little fun video. hope we gave you some laughs. Um, yeah, let us know if you know of any other quizzes that we can do in the comments below. Um, we might do some more little fun games like this, testing Tim's knowledge on all things Scottish, see if he has learnt much in these two years. But yeah, if you did like this video then do hit that like button and subscribe down below and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.